Today's video was inspired by a comment left by Boss on that video I recorded with Brittany. Remember that she showed us her beautiful cookbook on Evernote Home? He wrote that he loved it and hated it at the same time <laughs> because he, he, he does so much with Evernote that he cannot afford to have his entire home as a cookbook. Sometimes we forget this, but texts are not there only to categorize notes. They are a great way to filter information. So even if you don't plan to use Evernote as a cookbook, I encourage you to watch this video because what I'm showing here is useful in so many other situations. Let's go. Okay, we need a notebook. I already have one here. I name it recipes. Of course, you can name it whatever you want. And now we have two options here. Since I tweak the recipes a little bit, I prefer to build a note, drag some pictures, write some information, ingredients that I changed, and I, I usually write my recipe on the note. But I want to show you how useful Web Clipper can be in situations like this. We have here three recipes. I will start with this one. Click the Web Clipper. If you don't know how to use Web Clipper, there is a complete tutorial here. You'll find the link in the description below. In situations like this, I always use the simplified article option because it gets rid of all of the ads and everything that has nothing to do with the article. So let's change this to recipes. I'm not going to do this because I want to go step by step, but if you already have your recipe book and you know the tags you usually add to the notes, you can do it from here. So let's save this clip and go back to Evernote. As you can see here, it's pretty good already, but we can make it better. So we can get, we can remove this. I'm gonna remove all this because I know what this dish is. I think this is good. We have here the instructions, let's remove this. In other words, you can make this better. For example, let's use some keyboard shortcuts here. So, three hashtags, space, let's capitalize this. Okay, we don't need any of this. Let's get rid of this. Where are the ingredients? For some reason, I didn't grab the ingredients, no problem here. We can copy the ingredients, go back to Evernote. I'm gonna paste it here as a simple text, not using the bullet lists because what I want to do here is choose checklist because this will also be our grocery list. Say you already have this ingredients and you check your pantry and you have all this and you need the other one. Do you remember my buy tag? I add this tag to every note with things that I wanna buy or need to buy. So here we go. And since this tag is also a shortcut, all I have to do when I'm out shopping is click there to see the items I need to buy. Okay, now let's add some tags here. Adding Portuguese food. This one already has the buy tag. Another tag that I think it's important is the prep time. So let's add two hours. Let's say one hour for this one. One hour, again, two hours. Okay. I don't know, francesinha is <laughs> not dinner nor lunch. <laughs> it's more like a sandwich, but I, I, I'm gonna add it as lunch. Just as an example, I'm gonna add both as lunch, okay? It's not exactly that, but I'm gonna call this one pot just to use it as an example of what I'm gonna do here. Okay, now I'm gonna show you a not so efficient way of looking for a recipe. And in a while, I'll show you how we can make this better. Go to the filter and look, let's say for a recipe that I can prepare in two hours. There are two here, but I'm looking for a dinner recipe, for example. So we can add another tag here, dinner. This is already good because we can add several tags to the filter and find that dish that we want to prepare. However, there's a catch. We have to remember all the tag names. Of course, tags like dinner, lunch, the time, the preparation time are all easy to remember, but I'm sure 
we all will forget many of the tags we added to these notes. So here's how we can fix this. Bear with me for a moment while I create all these tags. No, you don't have to wait. <laughs> I'll cut this part. <laughs> what we are doing now is creating a nested tag structure. So I have the recipe book tag and I'll add three other tags below it. One is the meal. I'm gonna move it to the recipe. prep time. I'm also moving it to the recipe book type. Okay, I'm also moving this to the recipe book. And to make things easier, I'll move the recipe book, the parent tag to the shortcuts area. So now we have this three subtasks here. By the way, do you remember that on my last video I told you that it was not possible to create this structure here? Well, Jim left a comment on that video telling me that we can now right click and build this structure right here. I completely missed that. I didn't even try to do it because it was not possible before. Everyone is moving, every development is moving very fast. So from now on, I'll always try <laughs> to do what was not possible before saying something like that on a video. As you can see, it's not possible to do everything. For example, I wanna add a tag below the type and it's not possible, there is no option here. Let me make sure of that. <laughs> so move tag, add to shortcuts, delete, remove tag, rename tag. Yeah, it's not possible, create sub tag. I can create one, but I cannot add one. So let's go back to the tags here. And I'm looking for one pot and I'm adding this move tag to the type. I'll add the other ones here and see you in a moment. Now, check this, let's do it again. I'm going to my recipe book and let's say I'm looking for a lunch recipe. There are two options here, but pay attention to the top of the list. Evernote shows you other tags that these nodes have. So I can select, for example, a two hour tag and I now filter it by lunch and two hours. Let's do it from the two hours point of view. Again, I have two options here and now let's select two hours plus one pot. This is already much better than the option before, but there's another possibility here. Let's go to the filter again. Let's go to our recipe tag again. And here's one thing that I know that the recent upgrade didn't fix. I would love to be able to click here and see the other tags. I cannot do it. My only option here is include sub tags. However, if instead of searching, I scroll to that tag, I can select the items I want. So let's say again, I want a two hour plus one pot. This is pretty cool, but there is more. But before moving to the next one, I'd like to take a moment to thank the new channel members. If what I do here is helpful and you wanna support the channel, please consider becoming a member. Let's go. As you remember from the beginning of the video, our goal here is to create an alternative that will not convert the entire home to a recipe book. So let's add a filter in notes widget here. Select the recipes notebook. Let's call it recipe book and that's it. No mystery here. Our notes from the recipe notebook are now here, but this is not useful, right? All we can see are the most recent ones. However, if we go back to the filter and edit them, we can use this as a filter. Instead of going to the notes list, we can do it here. So let's choose the tags again, two hours, and let's choose the one pot. And here it is, we can use this as a search box. 
but there's more. <laughs> I'm back on the notes list, but everything I'll show you from now on can also be done on the widget, okay? So let's select the parent tag, recipe book, click here to add include sub tags. So now we have our entire recipe book, but I only want recipes that have onion. Now Evernote will combine the search box information with the tags we selected. And here we have it. Evernote is looking for the word onion in notes that have one of these tags. Wow, this is, there's a lot that you can search for using this combination. You can even select some of the tags and a word. And if you are a professional subscriber, here's what you can also do. Let's say I want a recipe with onions, but not with doc. And as you can see, the first item, the ingredient item is doc on the first note there. So let's use the Boolean search, not doc. Check this. Isn't this amazing? <laughs> Again, you can do this on the widget as well. I hope this was useful for you. If you want to learn more about tags, there's this other video where I share five tips, no, six tips. There's a bonus tip there on how to make the best use of tags. And if you want to learn more about Evernote and productivity, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you soon.